Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss some basic stuff because many guys are requesting some basic videos. So today we are going to discuss one basic lab. This is a packet tracer. I am using the packet tracer. If you see here, which version currently I have, I have 8.2.1.0.0118. Okay, I am using this one. Now if you see what is the date today is if you see 10 December. So this date I am using this version later maybe you have new version. So whatever the latest you are getting try to download from this net networking academy website from there you can download the new one whatever is coming currently this is the latest one. And now here what we are going to learn how we can connect the switch to the router. Currently we are going to discuss how we can connect the switch to the router so go here okay. When you see this is a router we selected just move this cursor here and drag and drop this way. This way we will take the router then we will go for the switch click the switch and this is a switch just click drag and drop here. After that you will take the cable you can click the cable and connect from here to here. This way we will connect the router to the switch and now we will do the basic configuration here I will change the label here I will put the label is R1 and switch. I will put the switch label is S1. Now we have the basic setup this one. We are going to learn how we can assign the IP. Okay, so I will take one computer here. This computer I will how I take on the computer just click here drag and drop here like that. Okay, and click the cable click the cable and take this cable connect here. Then click this cable connect here. This way you will connect the computer also. <coughs> now if you want to assign the IP first, first of all I can put the label here. So by seeing that one you know what is the IP we are going to assign here. So here I taken the IP we will take here 192.168.1.1 ok. So this is the IP we are going to assign to the router interface fast ethernet 0 by 0. And in the switch we are going to assign the IP 192.168.1.2 excuse me. <coughs> Sorry, in the PC 0 I am going to assign the IP 192.168.1.3 and the PC 4 I am going to assign the IP 192.168.1.4. Okay, so this is the IP we are having here. Now let's do the configuration. So I will take the CLI of the router. We are going to assign the IP to the router interface. So first I will go here. I will write here no. Then enable config T. I will change the router name as a R1. Then I will go to the interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 then I will write here IP address 192.168.1.1 give space write the subnet mask 255.255.0 and we will write here no shared that's all. This is the basic configuration of the router just I assign the IP address to the router that's all. And if you want to go to the switch this is a switch we are going to assign the IP to the switch. So this is a layer 2 switch in the layer 2 switch we cannot assign the IP to the interface so what we will do we will assign the IP to the VLAN. So here by default we have the VLAN 1. So let me go here and change the name of the switch as a switch 1. Then I will go to the VLAN 1 and I will assign the IP. So this is a method to assign the IP inside the VLAN 1. So I will write here 192.168.1.2 255.255.255.0 255 I will write here no shirt. And now I need to give the default gateway also so I can write IP default gateway and I can put the router IP here. So switch will have the router IP. So this is a method to assign the default gateway to the switch. I hope you understand this way we can assign the IP address to the switch layer 2 switch because in the layer 2 switch we cannot assign the IP to the interface. So we will assign the IP to the VLAN and then if you want to configure the gateway default gateway so the switch can ping to the router so I will write IP default gateway and give the IP of the router. Then I save the configuration. Now you can go inside this machine and assign the IP address to this machine here. If you see here I will write here 192.168.1.3 and press here you will get the default subnet mask and here the gateway should be the router IP. So I will write here 192.168.1.1. Okay, so this way we will assign the IP to the machine. Then we will go to the another machine and I am going to assign this IP to the machine. So 192.168.1.4 default gateway will come like this and I will write 192.168.1.1. Okay, 1.1. This way we will assign. Now you can do the basic testing. You can ping from this PC to the router IP. To check the connectivity I will write here 
ping and i will write here 192.168.1.1 i am pinging the router ip so it is reachable so pc0 is reachable to the router 1 so we have connectivity now i can do the same thing i will do the connectivity test from the pc1 so i can ping from pc1 to the router interface so i will write here 192.168.1.1 and it is working means our connectivity is successful so this is a basic lab just to have the idea in case if you face any issue try to join our telegram channel in that one we share lot of projects you can study and you can enjoy that one in case if if you struck anywhere whatsapp us our team is going to support you but we are busy now so no issue you can send your query later our team is going to reply you okay thank you bye